guys, Nuni120 here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make cold brew coffee using the French press. I had this French press sitting in my cupboard for a long time, so I thought this is a great way to put it into use. So I'm gonna start with 3 fourths of a cup of coffee grounds and four cups of water. Now these measurements need to be adjusted according to the size of your French press. So here I'm just pouring the water in slowly. For some reason this measuring cup cannot tolerate the water pouring out too fast. So I do it very slowly so I don't get water everywhere. And first you're gonna see it separate and you're gonna think, oh my goodness, what have I done? But just give it a stir, some love, and some patience, and then eventually it'll come together. So you're gonna keep stirring and stirring and stirring until the coffee blends in with the water and it becomes one. And this is the type of brand I like to use. It's inexpensive and is readily available at the store and has a great flavor. Once you're done, put the top on, but do not press. Let it sit at room temperature for 12 to 24 hours. After 12 to 24 hours, go ahead, press the top to strain. It's going to have some resistance, so you're gonna need some elbow grease. Once you get to the end, go ahead and pour the coffee into a pitcher. But I usually don't pour all of the coffee. I let about a quarter of a cup remaining in the French press. It tends to have a bitter flavor. I have previously gave it a second strain with a cheesecloth, but I thought it was unnecessary. There wasn't much coffee grounds left over on the cheesecloth. So I think my French press does a good enough job of straining all the grounds. So here is how I make my iced coffee. And this coffee has been chilling in the refrigerator, so it's nice and cold. I have a tall glass full of ice. Pour some coffee in. Maybe a little bit more. That's good. And then I add some vanilla syrup for a little bit of sweetness. and some almond milk. I give that a stir. Let it all blend together. Don't let that ice escape. Put it back in the cup. And stir and stir and stir. And voila! You have a nice refreshing iced coffee to enjoy. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.